Hey guys, John here with another video. I thought I'd make a video not necessarily on what is going on on the screen right now, but kind of talking about a concept in general. And this one being creativity, inspiration, and staying motivated, I guess. So the reason why I'm doing it over this particular painting is because I did this today. Today is um, May 11th, 2017. And I was really frustrated today. I have a ton of work I have to do for Mongoose Publishing for Traveler still, and I'm not finished with it, and I'm just not feeling it. It's just one of those days where there's no creative energy left in me. I feel drained, and I felt like I couldn't paint. I felt like I couldn't do anything, and i just been frustrated all day. I started and then thrown out so many concepts, so many ideas, so many paintings, uh, especially for the other job that I'm working on too, for the other company. Uh, aside from Mongoose Publishing, and it's just been incredibly frustrating. So I thought I would do a video here and explain, I guess, how I deal with these sorts of situations, because I'm sure this happens to a lot of you guys. I'm sure a lot of you are working or painting, and you just, you're just you having one of those days where you can't think of anything creative, you can't do anything, and it's really depressing, it's really disheartening, it's really frustrating, especially when you're getting paid to do this, and this is your livelihood and you're unable to perform. So how do you handle it? What do you do? So there's a couple different things I do. First of all, I take a step back. I, I step back and I do something else. Whether it be I go stand up and go for a walk. I go outside. I get some fresh air. Uh, I go listen to music. Um, I just go do something else. Even watch YouTube videos for 20 minutes or something like that, you know, just in order to get my mind off of it. Maybe I'll see something as I'm walking around on my walk or in my backyard or watching a YouTube video that will inspire me to do something creative, to get that spark again. But that brings me to this other point. I think there's this misconception with art that you have to be creative at all times, that art, that to be an artist, you just have to wait for inspiration. And if you wait for inspiration, these lulls, these down points, they're going to be much more difficult, much more painful because you're going to be totally dependent on when you're feeling creatively fruitful, when you're feeling um, really, really good. And there's times when if you want to do this for a living, you got to be able to do it when you're not feeling good, when things are not looking good, when uh, you're unable to perform, when you're not feeling inspired, when maybe you're depressed, maybe you're upset, you know? and you're just not able to do what you need to do, uh, you're going to have to be able to perform still. And so I think there's this misconception that we as artists sort of just wait for inspiration to strike, it strikes, and we're good to go. And I think if you're waiting for that, you're going to be really disappointed, and you're going to be a really inconsistent artist to your... Um, to your... Uh, uh, clients that you're working for. They're, you're not going to be able to perform or when when they need you to, um, and that's that's what this job is all about. It's not about. I think there's this romanticism with art that um, it's something more than a business. It's something more than um, just being creative. And there's a lot of other elements to it, such as discipline and good business sense, that are really important in being successful as an artist in this industry. And I've, I've kind of come to slowly and painfully figure that out uh, over the years that I've been trying to do this. And, you know, I've been at this for ooh, seven years now, and I still suck. I feel like I, I still feel like I'm terrible. Like I look at some of my work and I'm like, why am I doing this? But then I realize like I've invested so much in this. I've done so much in this. I can't turn back now. I can't quit now. What would that say about me? What would that say about my work? Uh, it wouldn't look good. So I think, I think you have to learn how to be creative. You have to learn how to be analytical in how you approach art. Uh, that means you can't sit and wait for inspiration. You have to find ways to either make inspiration happen or work without inspiration. Try and find a method or a way of doing that. Um, and it could be, you know, starting with photo bashing, get a photo bashing thing going, or or sometimes the creativity is just, I need to do a ton of sketches. I just need to sketch a bunch. I need to get all these bad ideas out. And then as soon as I get that one good idea, then uh, the spell's broken. Or at least I've worked towards breaking that because I've done a couple different things. I've fought the depression, <laughs> the... Um, 
the that horrible feeling that you're not good enough i beat that feeling because i did make something i did do something that's what the skeleton was i, I felt like today i needed to do something because it was if i just quit and i went and watched tv and i didn't get what i wanted to do done today i didn't get something done today that i was okay with uh it was going to be a defeat and that would be mentally draining that would be mentally devastating for me i know this sounds like you know exaggeration but creativity and having that motivation having that inspiration and uh the, that will to keep going is sometimes really hard to keep keep an artist and you have to really cultivate it and so i think fighting through it and getting to the point where you're like i'm gonna draw something even if it's just like a some shaded primitives you know like a circle and a cube and i'm going to shade it really nice i need to do something in order to get that motivation up in order to make me feel like i did something today so i think that's also important for us to remember as well as we um try and be creative so i think the other thing is to just like i said go for it um like i said this skeleton i i have i had done let's see today i've done I don't know probably 10 or so concepts that i'm not happy with that i threw out and this is just something i had to do on the side for myself it had nothing to do with my client work it had nothing to do with my the main company that i work for i just had to sit down and i had to draw something because i did not have i, I'm, I was losing it i could feel it i could feel it that i was losing it that i was not happy that if and that if i stopped at that point like i said i would be really disappointed i'd be really depressed and i might not have the inspiration and i might sink further and further into it so i was like you know i gotta battle through this and i also noticed that sometimes when you have these creative dry spells or when you have these moments where you feel like you can't draw anything like you know i still look at paintings from like two years ago that i did and i'm like you know that still looks pretty good i'm, I'm okay with that that looks pretty good and if you were to try and replicate it again you wouldn't be able to do it and you're like how did i do that how did two years two years ago me after all this you know two years of study that i had how did i get that and honestly sometimes it's just you were lucky or um you're learning i feel like sometimes when right before i'm about to burst through a plateau when i'm, I'm about to make some great strides and gains and learn something and improve my techniques improve my knowledge improve my abilities when i'm about to break that point it's when i'm having these creative dry spells when i'm ha lacking uh when i'm stressed when i don't have the motivation when i you know what i'm saying when i'm in the moment that i'm in now is when it when it's worse and i find that if i work through it i get past that plateau and i make improvements and i have a good creative uh fertile season or a few few weeks a few days whatever it is of really easy drawing and i have to be thankful for those too you know be thankful for those times when you're not in this mode when you're you're like wow this is coming really easy to me <laughs> i better be really thankful for this right now so i think that creativity is one of those things that uh, that a lot of people get wrong they think that they have to sit and wait for it and sometimes you have to chase after it or you have to learn how to trigger it you have to look for it you have to look for inspiration it just doesn't you can't sit and wait for it to happen to you uh that's nice when it does happen and it does happen every once in a while but you can't wait for that to happen uh, you can't be passive in your discipline in your abilities you have to go out there and, and make it happen sometimes especially when you're in a position like me right now where you're under the gun you have deadlines and you need to get something done you need to go out and, and watch a movie um read a book listen to music just go outside get some fresh air and try and figure out like how you can get yourself inspired again and push through this this plateau if you're like me again it's because that you're I, I think that you're about to break through something and you're about to learn something you're about to get better you're about to get another notch on your belt you got, you're about to increase your mileage and your experience and uh, you're not going to do that if you just stop if you just give up and you just say screw it uh, I don't want to do this anymore and maybe there's moments when it's when it is a good idea to do that because you're getting so angry you're so frustrated you don't want to even deal with it anymore that it is important to take a step back and uh really think about things but more often than not you got to push through it so i think that's going to do it for this video guys thanks for watching if you like this video if you like my other videos please subscribe uh you can like me on facebook i'll have links to all my all my pertinent links in the show in the show notes in the uh, video description and um, 
you can support my channel and my art by using, for instance, my Amazon affiliate link here that can help uh, support this channel and help me have time to make more videos like this and maybe share my struggles uh, with you like this as well and, and how I deal with them and handle them. And I'm by no means an expert, but I'm more than happy to share what I know with others out there that want to be creative, want to be artists, and want to paint. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.